How y'all doing today? Well, I'm at my local favorite military installation looking for some acorns and chestnuts. And as I'm sitting here hunting, I realize something. Both the acorns and the chestnuts are all mixed together, okay? And I thought this would be a good opportunity to make a video. Because see, when it's autumn, like right now, it's easy to identify an acorn tree, or at least an acorn, right? I mean, look right here. See, you got all these acorn, 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 pretty easy. And so if you're hunting that, that's great, but what happens like when it's winter time, and you don't have leaves, you don't have acorns, how do you know what it looks like? And then also, let's go over to here. We got a chestnut tree here. And you, know, you got these husks right here. Pretty easy to identify, right? You got all these husks that are open, and I got a chestnut right here. What I want to do is, I want to make a, a video on how to identify the difference between, because these plants are very similar. As I'm looking here, looking at, standing here, and I see all these around me, I can see the similarities. So, I'm going to try to make this simple, and I hope you'll find it useful. And so, let's begin. Okay, so first, this is the sawtooth oak tree that I'm talking about, okay? Dopni Namu, if I'm saying that correct. Either way, I'll put it, I'll insert the name in the video. Okay, that is the sawtooth oak tree. Then over here, you have Bomnimu, or literally, the chestnut tree. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, both of these trees have nuts that come down. Like I said, this is the acorns. These are the uh, chestnuts. Both of these trees have furrows in them, or grooves. You know, very common English, just say grooves, right? And you will, if you read a book or something, they'll tell you, like, you'll have, like, a gray bark, and then it'll get red inside. And, yeah, that'll, that's true, some of these. But, look at this, okay? Put your eye on this tree. Now, look here. See, it has the furrows. But look how much deeper these furrows are. Okay, these are very deep furrows. That's a chestnut tree. Okay, it's a sign. And another sign that you have a chestnut tree is you're going to see a lot of times on chestnut trees, it looks like a cable is being twisted. See how the furrows are going up and around? It's like a Cat 5 or a Cat 6 cable being twisted. Like right there. Look at that. So you have... So you can look at... The nuts, or if you that's just called for simplicity, like the fruit of the tree that helps you identify them. You can look at the furrows, see, both have furrows, but that one's not as deep, it's more shallow, deeper, and the bark is twisted or the trunk is twisted. But now, here's something else you got to be careful about. And this is really tricky. This is why you got to know how to identify the bark it's the leaves. Both of these, hold on, I'm my mistake there. I'm sorry, I'm getting these leaves out of my pouch here. Okay. Both of these plants have the same style leaf. It has what I like to think of as a spear tip leaf. Okay. Because it looks like a spear tip you would find in spears. And if you look, it's got these serrated edges here. Okay. So this one is from a chestnut tree. It was low enough I could pluck it down. These are from the oak tree, the sawtooth oak tree. Now, the sawtooth oak trees, their branches are so high up, I can't pluck them down, so you have to bear with me as I use these dead leaves that came down. But one thing that's consistent you'll find on mature trees, the sawtooth oaks are smaller than the chestnuts. The sawtooth oak trees are also very shiny, okay? It's got a nice little shine to it. And, you know, if you really need, like for simplicity's sake, because I can't do it here, unfortunately, uh, because I got a bunch of dead leaves and the good ones I can't even reach, go online. And just look up like sawtooth oak tree leaf versus, uh, you know, chestnut oak tree leaf. And it'll show you more detail about it. But you're going to find that, and even this has a nice sheen to it also. But you're going to find a lot of times these are bigger. The chestnut has the bigger leaf. The sawtooth oak tree has a smaller one. But they are very similar. In fact, let's put these together. I'm doing this one hand, forgive me. You should see like the little stickers. Like, see my pinky finger there? My little finger? There's stickers there. There's stickers here. They have 
the, see the veins on the saw tooth here? Let's look at the veins on the chestnut tree. Very similar. You, it's very hard to tell the difference. So if you can't tell the difference, and I mean if you don't play in nature a lot or if you're not familiar with this type of, you know, you just don't have this in your area, it's real easy to get confused to. So one more time. In fact, let's walk around and I'll show you some more samples. Ladies on the ground. So hey, this is a chestnut tree. How do we know it's a chestnut? Look at these really deep grooves. We got the fruit here, the nuts, and you can see that twist in it. That's your clue. And let me just try to zoom in. You got, see where my finger's pointing? Like right up there, you got some really big leaves, okay? Now let's go over, look around some more. Oh my gosh, this place is loaded with them. Unfortunately, the locals, man, they've already ravaged all these. There's only a few chestnuts in the area, but acorns, there's a lot. Now here, you see, we have sawtooth oak trees. And you can tell it's a sawtooth oak tree because one, it has the grooves, the furrows, but they're not as deep. Two, let's look around here, right? See the acorns? Okay. Oh, look at these. Yeah, see, in Korean dietary dishes, chestnuts are really popular. They like to roast them, make jellies out of them and stuff. Acorns are also used. I think they also make a jelly out of it. And you can make flowers and stuff out of this too. But for me, I want coffee. That's something I know how to make and they don't know how to make. So that's why I'm hunting these little bad boys. But anyway, <laughs> get back on target. So see here, this is your sawtooth oak tree and you got the leaves. Like look right there, man. See all this? Those oak, those uh, sawtooth oak trees look just like the uh, chestnut trees leaves, except they're smaller. And you can look down here too. Okay. By the way, in the dead of winter, when everything's dead and all these leaves are gone, this is a tool that you use to help identify trees. If you're not familiar with a tree, you can look at the leaves surrounding an area to get a clue, right? Like these are all sawtooth oak trees, so if, or leaves, I'm sorry. So if I see these hanging around this tree, I may not be able to identify the bark. But if I see those, that's going to tell me a hint that, hey, this might be an oak tree. And if you're around a maple tree, you don't know what a maple tree looks like when it's in the dead of winter. But if you were to see maple leaves, right, surrounding the tree, that's a good clue. That's a maple tree. But anyway, let's go around, uh, let's get some more examples here. Now, let me ask you a question. What do you think this is? Without even looking at the fruit around it. It's a chestnut tree. It should be hard pressed because this is a, one of those samples. See the lower ones? The leaves are smaller. But when you get higher up, you get to the bigger leaves. What do you think this one is, people? Let's, let's go from the bottom. Make our way up and around. Get a good view up there. Okay. It's a acorn tree. Lots of acorns. But like I said, in this area, they are mixed together. See that right there? These clothes are these trees are literally so close together. Sorry zoomed in there the trees are literally so close together I mean look around you have a chestnut tree next to an acorn tree the leaves are overlapping and then when you hit the hill when like a chestnut falls or something it's just gonna kind of roll down so this is all mixed together that's why it's good to know this skill it'll save you a lot of time energy and you know hey, maybe you need it for survival purpose it's cool guy skills right if you're a guy you should know this stuff people really are impressed with it. women like knowing this my wife loves the fact I know this and hey, it makes a great English lesson. If you're an English teacher or something, go out and teach this stuff. Good science, good English lesson, good everything. See, check this out. Oak tree. Chestnut tree. Zoom in. See, look how deep those furrows are. 
Okay. I think that's enough. I think I hope this all did help you helped everybody out to identify the difference. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this video and now I'm gonna make another video on the uses of an oak tree and a trust a chestnut tree. So thank you all for watching this. That is not a chestnut tree by the way or an oak tree. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant evening.